Okay, so I know that my webcam isn't showing, but funny enough, but as soon as I started doing this, my webcam basically decided to break and it doesn't work anymore. So, oops, hit the mic. Um, what I'm gonna do with this reaction instead is that I'm just gonna have this, uh, the actual, actual video as like some random gif or something probably and then I'll put the link to the actual presentation in the description so if you want to watch with me then you can go right there and I'll send you a link to uh, when the starting point is and do a countdown and yeah I have no idea what's, go what's uh, going to be announced oh man just try to sleep tonight I um, dude, let's just get this done, because oh, I, I really want to see what's, what's up. Thankfully, I didn't run into any spoilers, so I have no idea what's going to happen. Alright, so, three, two, one, play. Ah, oh, man, let me full screen this. Switch. Ah, oh, dude, it's finally time. And it's, it's an actual presentation, it's an actual pre um, conference thing. That's how they should do it. Yes. Well done, Nintendo. You already did the right thing there. Oh man, that sound. Alright, sorry about that. Probably going to be the controller I use the pro one. That can be played or connected to your television, but it is also a system that you can bring with you to share the fun wherever you go. Nintendo Switch is a brand new kind of home gaming system that offers a wide diversity of play styles. Ah yes. In today's presentation, we sure. will provide a detailed introduction to the Nintendo Switch hardware. And software. Yes! Come on! Come on, Kimishima. I'd like, like to begin by introducing the Nintendo Switch launch date, suggested retail price, and online services. Yes. The Nintendo Switch will release simultaneously on March 3rd, What? in Japan, the US, Canada, major European countries, Hong Kong, and other territories. Holy crap! This is the suggested retail price for Nintendo Switch. That's over a week! In Japan, it will be 29980 Okay. In North America, it will be $299.99. Right. For the price in Europe, Yes. Please check with your local retailer. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Next, I have information about Nintendo Switch online services. But yeah, that March third, that's like over a week less than what we thought. Oh man. Oh, what? Yes? And when you use the smart device application that will connect to Nintendo Switch, you'll be able to invite friends to play online set play appointments, and then chat with friends while enjoying online matches and compatible games, all from your smart device. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Users will be able to try out Nintendo Switch online services for free during a trial period after launch. Oh! Then, it will become a paid service beginning in the fall of 2017. Ah! They better be on the A game with online then. ...paid service and its features on our homepage at a later date. Okay. And I have an additional piece of information. Hmm? With our past systems, like, like Nintendo 3DS and oh. Wii U, we designed them using regional hopping, which limited play the software sold in the same region. Oh, 
this sounds good. Come on. Yes! Thank you! Here, I would like to switch over to the man responsible for all software development for Nintendo Switch and mobile applications, Mr. Shinya Takahashi. Alright then. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I am Shinya Takahashi, and I lead all Nintendo software development. Is that Bill Trennan doing the voice? The Nintendo Switch has inherited mm. DNA from each of the many hardware systems Nintendo has released today. <laughs> the Nintendo Entertainment System included two controllers in the base system. Game Boy made it possible to bring video games out of the home. Super NES right, added the X and Y buttons History. and the L and R buttons to enhance the fun. The fun. <laughs> Nintendo 64 offered the world's first analog control stick, and mm -hmm. it introduced a rumbling controller with the development of the rumble pack. We put a handle on Nintendo GameCube so it could be carried around. A lunchbox. We were considering a home game system that you could take with you, but it seems we were a little too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo DS had a touch screen. With, With the Wii Remote, remote motion, motion control, control became, became possible. possible. And, and the Wii U gamepad game enabled you to play, play games off the TV. And, and now, Nintendo Switch has inherited all of Nintendo's entertainment DNA, DNA and we have packed each and every one of these features into the system. system. Uh -huh. I was constantly pursuing new forms of entertainment to bring more fun and more smiles to the world. Okay, what do they mean by this? The new entertainment we will present in 2017 is a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay. It's not in... It's not in the... I like how like small this thing looks. It doesn't. It looks it's very easy to just put it around. You can connect it to the TV to play games. And when you want to play away from the TV, you just remove Nintendo Switch from the dock. Yep. When you attach the left and right Joy-Con controllers, you can continue playing. Anywhere. That is really cool. That's basically the gamepad. Nintendo Switch has been designed to be a home console gaming system that gives you the freedom to change your playstyle. Now I'm wondering if they're gonna keep just do home console because it's just a both a home and handheld, and not do any handhelds anymore because, yeah. Next, allow me to introduce the playstyles Nintendo Switch will offer. All right. TV mode. Oh, oh, that's play games on the TV in a typical video game style. Yep. Tabletop mode. Stand the Nintendo Switch console up with its kickstand and then play using the Joy-Con. Right. You can now play video games in front of the screen with others wherever you like. But can you still play it if you have those things on? Oh, okay. Attach the left and right Joy-Con to the system. You can take it with you and play indoors, outdoors, or anywhere you like. Okay, so, okay. That clears that up. Connect the Joy-Con to a friend or family member, and then share the joy right then and there. Battery life will vary by game, but it will range from 2.5 hours to 6.5 hours. Okay, that's actually... Not too bad. And you will be able to play while charging the system using the included AC adapter and a USB certified portable battery. Okay. Yeah. The screen uses a capacitive touch panel. You can connect over Wi-Fi or multiplayer battles. 
Okay, that's pretty cool. What do you think? With its three play styles, Nintendo Switch evolves gameplay, making it more active and offering greater freedom of play. And what makes this possible are the Joy-Con controllers. Joy-Con! To tell you more about the new types of play that Joy-Con will enable, and to tell you about Nintendo Switch software, I'd like to switch things over to general development producer, Yoshiaki Koizumi. Thank you very much. All right. Finally, let's see the games! Hello, Hello everyone. I am Nintendo, Nintendo Switch, Switch General, General Development, Development Producer, Yoshiaki Kizuki. It's, it's great, great to be here. <laughs> you almost messed up. Controllers are very important when it comes to the Daddy's the, uh, right? uh, translator. And I suspect all of you are wondering what the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con are like. Allow, Allow me to introduce, introduce them to you. you. Joy-Con boys! <laughs> Freaking Etika, man. Yeah, that's the doggy. These are the Joy-Cons set in the Joy-Con grip. Hello, doggy. This is the basic style when playing on the TV. Now, let me remove the Joy-Con. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Excuse me. These are the Joy-Cons. I wonder how easy that will be to break. And the right Joy-Con. Each Joy-Con has an analog stick. Well, there's stuff in between. It can also be pressed, like a button. I guess it's just connecting stuff. This Joy-Con has the familiar A, B, X, Y buttons. And beneath them is the home button. What's that D-pad up there? It's a cow-shaped mark. There's, There's an, an NFC reader, reader writer. Oh, okay. Makes sense. That can read and write Amiibo data as well. Of course, they bring that. <laughs> and please look at the square button, button on this Joy-Con. Joy mm -hmm. This is the capture button for capturing, for capturing screenshots, screenshots of your gameplay. gameplay. Oh, nice! In the, In the future, future, it will, it will be, able be able to capture, capture video, video as well. Nice, nice, nice. You'll be, be able, able to share, share the screens, screens you capture with friends over social media. media. Okay. And each Joy-Con includes accelerometer and gyro sensors, making independent left and right motion control like this. Okay, they have motion controls. Okay. Yeah. That clears that up. And take, take a look right here. here. Yes. There are, there are two, two buttons, buttons in the, the rail. Slow the Joy-Con Joy and the Nintendo Switch, Switch console. console. Right. These, These are, are L and R buttons. buttons. Because oh, of the design, right. each Joy-Con Joy -Con can be used as a fully functioning individual controller. controller. Right, so it's an L and R stuff. Okay. Joy -Con that makes more sense. In any mini two-player games. Alright. We, we call this sharing, sharing the joy. <laughs> Ah, uh, Nintendo. The Nintendo Switch comes with two controllers right, right from, from the start. start. And, and when you play with these Joy-Con, they fit in the palm, palm of your hand, hand just right, like, right, like this. this. And they, and they feel, feel very natural. natural. Hmm. I'm wondering, again, I'm wondering how sturdy they are. For example, pardon, pardon me. <laughs> release the tension from your shoulders and relax while you play. play. <laughs> Games. Oh, oh hi. But we still have many things to share, share about the Joy-Con. Joy uh. What the heck? I'm like watching a cooking show. Oh! Yes! Oh man, that blue looks good. Neon blue. Let me have it.
Okay, I wonder how this works. Ah, Rumble, okay. That actually might make me want to use it. Because <laughs> I don't usually use Rumble. <laughs> Fancy. Chuck Norris? <laughs> what? Mm, yes. I will kill you. What is this? <laughs> I didn't know I was watching a movie. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh yes! I can't take that guy seriously, that face! These cheesy commercial color things. Hmm. Hello, everyone. I am Koichi Kamo, the producer of One Two Switch. I am also the general hardware director of One Two Switch. Let's you. Enjoy the expressiveness of the Joy-Con Oh, so it's like a uh, minigame collection, is it? But at the same time, it's a brand new kind of game. One okay. Of new kind of play that I haven't seen before. So this game's version of Nintendo Land, I guess? Wait, that is Nintendo Land. What? But, one to switch can be played without looking at any screen. So then, where exactly do you look? In the eyes of your opponents. Yeah. <laughs> you look directly into the eyes of your opponent to play the game. When will your opponent move? How will they move? Are they just faking? You look into their eyes to read your next move, and then begin to see them do something unexpected. In other words, One to Switch isn't a game you play facing the screen. It is a game that is primarily played for face-to-face -face interaction. So you can bring the Switch to the parties and after the parties, indoors or outdoors, any place to together or meet. You can simply, one, stand in the Switch up, two, grab two Joy-Con, three, hand one to a friend. And just, just like that, with these three steps, the place you're in becomes the game world, and then everyone's there. Shouldn't it be one, two, three switch? We're creating oh, well. one, 
want to switch to be a staple for parties and then to become an icebreaker for all kinds of Oh, uh, look at these. Want to switch features fun for everyone, gameplay made possible by Joy-Con, and then it releases March 3rd alongside the end of the switch. Okay, cool. Look forward to it. Thank you very much. Gonna start fighting? <laughs> High school beat em up, I don't know. The teachers versus the students. <laughs> what the heck am I looking at? What the heck? Okay, I'm intrigued, but... I 
actually, it looks, it has a similar art style to, uh, Finn. Um, I saw my under toe by her, uh, Overwatch! That! Is this online though? And of course, we're preparing online battles as well. Cool, cool. The extendable arm fighting game, Arms, will release this spring. Okay. Thank you very much. Golly, what did you think? Arms is the original of Nintendo's newest characters. As you can see, mastering the joy of controls can bring a new feel to the head to head fighting games. Oh, of course. Did I just see a double pistol? This... Okay, these look like new stages. Moray Towers? That looks new. Uh... Yeah, that is like a double pistol. Huh. Interesting. That's not usually how the hall is splat. Unless it's a different type. Well, they just changed it. Oh, it's a little mini Judd. Oh, I hate those guys. <laughs> the guys at the splat bomb uh, thing. Okay, that the uh, clown looks really good. That's Mori's house, okay. So, is it a sequel or a remaster? It is a sequel! Yes! Good afternoon, everyone. I am the diligent researcher at the Sweet Research Lab, who has been a day and night. I wish the title was cleverer, though. Take that, Jerry. It was a sequel. I was right. <laughs> and today, I'm here to announce the fruits of my labor. It has been about two years since I first discovered the squid, and it seems there have been many changes to the squid world. Yeah. Turtle War is a war on four team based battles where two teams compete to spray the ground with the ink and cover the ground. What modes are those? So that's why I want to know. Super jump, you press the button, a 
assigned to a teammate to instantly jump there. Okay. Of course, you can battle against friends and people you don't know over the internet. <laughs> and you can also bring your games and Nintendo Switch systems together to battle friends face to face. Okay, so that's good. That's something the original didn't have. Yeah, it just had that crappy balloon game. Yes. Yes. Is flying for lunch this summer. Ah. Oh. And again, this time there will be stage and weapon updates after lunch, and there are also plans to hold ongoing in-game events. I am very excited. To once again enjoy those exciting times with everyone all around the world. Well, it's better. Splatoon? It's better, better than like November, I guess. Still, as many elements that we have yet to uncover, the Swade Research Lab will continue to share new details. Oh, that's a stupid thing. Thank you for your time today. Oh my gosh. Like I say? No. No, it's not. No. It can't be. Oh my gosh! Yes! What is this? Huh? What kind of? Huh? Mario and the. Is this like Spider-Man Two movie game Mario edition? <laughs> what in the world? Okay, so can you explain what's right? Those things are collectibles. Joy-Con enemies? What? Okay, I'm intrigued. So... Well, I guess that makes sense, because Mario's an Ital Italian plumber. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gold big hats or whatever on the hammer, bro. Ha! Huh. So you can go in the real world. That sounds like Mario Galaxy. That, um, sound effect. What? <laughs> what? That's a... Oh! Huh. You can you use your hands to move? Okay, that looks cool. Okay, this looks cool. <laughs> this is so stupid! <laughs> what? Also, Mario looks a lot- looks- I don't know if it's just me, but he looks shorter than usual. Okay, is it switcheroo? Or is it something else? And it's at launch! Odyssey? Okay. Well, it is odd. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that's another Galaxy um, voice clip. Hello, everyone. Sorry, my parents. <laughs> When's it release? Because I want to play that. Thank goodness it's not 3D World 2! Yes! Oh man, this is what I wanted. An okay, I didn't expect an actual realistic world, but I wanted a hard world like that. A big open area, and then a bunch of stages like this. This is what I want. Yes? 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 Yes?
guess. Spider Man 2 Mario Game Mario Edition. At the end of the video, perhaps some of you have noticed some unusual eyes or something on Mario's cap. Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. right there. This mysterious cap in particular offers action that can only be experienced on the Nintendo Switch. This cap character plays an important role in Mario's journey. Oh! So it's an actual character. In the 20 years since we made the Mario 64, they make like everyone have eyes. A long, long journey together with Mario. And then we were working on this new journey called the Nintendo Switch, with the excitement one feels when visiting unknown countries for the very first time. Hmm. I'll be very happy when you can all join me in parting on this new Mario journey. Now, does it have Luigi co op? Because that's what the uh, trailer showed. In the holiday season. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess it makes sense. You won't be able to play the game today. So, I have to offer you a chance to try it out at another time. So please wait a little longer. If Breath of the World is launch, I'll be okay. Oh. Is this a different game or is it Xenoblade 3? It looks very Xenoblade ish. So. Interesting looking sword. That looks like the box up for Xenoblade Chronicles. Just without the guy. The. <laughs> Uses me because there's two games already. So oh, Hyrule Warriors or something, I guess. Hmm? Then uh wait what? This doesn't look like Zelda. No, it looks like something else. Fire Emblem Warriors. Fire Emblem Warriors, is it? Or is it... Uh-huh. Lucina? It's a new, it's a new game. The Nintendo Switch concept has resonated with many developers, and they are currently over That actually it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yep. There are Fun party room? Oh, nice. So today, we'd like to introduce just a few of them. Can we see Sonic? 2017? Oh man, I'm such a... I'm such an idiot. Dragon Quest XI for release on Nintendo Switch in Japan. Oh, sort of. But, there is another Dragon Quest game making an appearance. Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 for Nintendo Switch. 
Okay. Now, now take, take a look at this. this. Mm -hmm. Atlas. Persona 5. That's my, that's my guess. So one, two, three, four. So it has Persona Five on Raw Engine Four. Good, good, cool, cool. Uh, what? Uh, done. What in the world? If this is a Persona, then. Sorry if I sound like clueless because I don't know that much. <laughs> what? Surf, what was Kingdom Hearts? Okay, has a unique uh, old school charm. Like, <laughs> to say, if they had the Kingdom Hearts free trailer in this. so much innovation and fun 
the Switch is going to classically Nintendo get something all new. We yep. have to thank them for letting us be a part of it. Okay. Thank you, Tatsan. Next, let's switch to this person. Yeah. What? Oh my gosh, what is this guy uh, up? Not that go girl. Hi everyone, I'm just gonna pick up from the grass. Yeah! <laughs> what even? So, today yeah, I'd like to start, um, I've been invited to come to this event, and I'd like to talk about uh, one of the games that I work on. Okay. Do you all remember the one guy from the Santa the Toy who was born out of a tag team between Marvelous and Grasshopper? Sorry, Travis Touchdown. Huh? He'd be making his return on Nintendo Switch. No more heroes free. Oh, what? So, this star will be coming onto the Nintendo Switch. Hmm. The title hasn't been decided yet, but. Just do No More Heroes 3, just call it that. A year ago, I've been going to some events, some game events in Japan, such as Big Sun, and I've been discussing with, exchanging ideas with uh, the indie game community, and we've been discussing about uh, ideas for the new Nintendo Switch console. Mm -hmm. I've heard that it's uh, I've heard that it's an, an easier platform to create games for, um, especially for indie uh, developers. And so that matches with what we are uh, expecting in a game development process. So this one game that I'm working on right now uh, will be something that will take advantage of this uh, uh, environment that it's easy for indie developers to create a game. And so we will have a game that will have a huge amount of deathmatch and storm sort of heavily involved, uh, heavily influenced by pro wrestling. And I'd love to see Travis running around um, in the game for Nintendo Switch. Thank you very much for your time today. It was press for Suda 51. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Suda. Next, we switch to this guest. It's a huge honor and privilege to be here today representing the passionate Hi, and talented team at Valley Comic Arts. For me, to be on this stage is like a dream come true. For as long as I've played games, I've been a massive fan of the Nintendo platform and an amazing culture of creativity. So much so that when my first born son was born, my wife and I named the middle name Luigi. <laughs> okay, where are you going with this? Because you made a big fuss about the Wii U and then didn't support it. <laughs> so today, we are extremely excited to announce that the world's most popular sports game will be coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. Okay. FIFA, okay. Uh, not interested. I'm sorry. It will deliver the FIFA experience, custom built for Nintendo Switch, so you can play anywhere, play with anyone, and play how you want to play. FIFA 
on it for a second. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely, he's definitely sure. more launch games though okay. because there was only like a you couple of these developers. But there are still, still many others working hard, hard inside, inside Nintendo, Nintendo to develop original game content. In addition to the franchises our fans love, we will also introduce the world to new forms of entertainment made possible by the unique characteristics of the Nintendo Switch hardware and the Joy-Con controller. Yeah. Since we revealed new colors of Joy-Con during this presentation, allow me to share with you our Nintendo Switch product configurations. The Nintendo Switch system will include the Nintendo Switch console, a left and a right Joy-Con, yes. Joy-Con wrist straps, the Joy-Con grip, the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch stock, an HDMI cable, yes, and an AC adapter. The Pro Controller will also be available separately. There will be two versions: one model with great Joy-Con controllers, and another model with one neon blue and 
That's the one I'm getting because that looks so cool. Yeah, definitely the blue and red. We have shared a great deal of information with you through this presentation. Breath of the Wild, when is this available on our Nintendo Switch homepage after this presentation ends? Okay. But first, I would like to ask Nintendo of Europe and Nintendo of America to share their messages with their fans watching around the globe. Okay. Take it away. the wild is not it in the background Yes. Soundtrack for what's been far and away the most anticipated Nintendo Switch game right from the start. Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Ready, stay. So, where is it? Well, it'll be here at a special event elsewhere in New York tomorrow. Oh. I've seen some sneaky Nintendo employees have been playing during this presentation. <laughs> so let's go over there and see what these guys have to say for themselves. Mr. Miyamoto! Who? Hi, Big Top. You're here. It's going to be a new thing now. Come on. The Nintendo 
the switch launch is just around the corner on March 3rd. Tomorrow and the next day, we'll hold a Nintendo Switch hands-on event at the big site in Tokyo. When is it coming out? And we'll begin taking pre-order reservations at retail in Japan starting January. You can't just leave us in this. We've waited like two years! No, longer than that. Now, we do have like three, four, I don't know, long time. Before we do, I would like to humbly and sincerely thank everyone here for listening and everyone around the world for tuning in. Of course. Okay, new trailer. Then, release date, please! My hope with this game is through the roof. I need to play this. Very nice, nice environments. Ooh. Oh yes, the Koroks. I think that's what they're called. I could be wrong. I could be remembering them wrong. Yes, that's the Master Sword. Okay. But not in English. Okay. <laughs> Are we gonna see a dungeon? Calamity Cannon, yes. Towns. Until the uh, um, 
uh, was it the treehouse event because that has to be more launch game because there was only like two or three but breath of the wild launch yes thank you that gives me a reason to buy the switch launch day yes i want to play this now so badly that there was so much going on so many characters and they actually feel so much more alive than they ever have been Skyward Sword was in the right direction with that, but, oh man, voice acting, so many feels, it's, oh man, that game is going to be nuts, so much to look forward to, oh man, March 3rd, I can't believe this, freaking March 3rd, we thought it was March 17th, nope, it's like over, over a week um, shorter than that. It's like, what, two, nearly two weeks before March 17th or something? I don't know. Um, yeah, man. That, that was really good. I would have liked a third party, a more, uh, like, a third party rail that went on, uh, like, it was like, be like an indie rail, but for third party games, but uh, maybe in the coming uh, days or months or something, I don't know. But yeah, this looked really promising. I just want to see what the overall launch lineup looks like. Um, but other than that, I'm really, really excited for the Switch. This definitely increased my hype by the crap ton, especially since it's releasing with Breath of the Wild and much, much further! <sighs> I'm sorry, I can't, um, I can't handle this. And Sp Spider-Man 2 Mario Edition, let's go! Yes! Nintendo, you, you, you've got me you got my attention, Nintendo. You got my attention. Oh, man. March 3rd can't come soon enough. Oh, dude. It's finally time. We finally know what's what. Man. Ah, oh, I don't even know. This year has already started off with an insane bang. Let's keep that momentum going. This has been my reaction to the Nintendo Switch presentation. I have exhausted myself. And I will see you guys next time. Oh my gosh, the hype. This is ridiculous. Ah. Uh.